Hello everyone, welcome back, this is Sierra, and in today's video, as you guys already know, based on the title, I'm going to be doing a Lush haul, which I'm super, super, super excited about. But first, I want to talk a little bit about my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Sierra, I'm an American living in Japan. Every week, I try to make a new video about my crazy life in Japan, Lush being vegan and zero waste, super, so any of those things are interesting to you, please make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button below. If you guys haven't seen any of my recent videos, you guys are probably going to be wondering what I'm doing in this room. And that's because right now Mr. is on a business trip and I got to go with him and so right now I am actually shooting in our hotel bathroom because it is 8 p.m. and there's nowhere else to shoot and I really need to pack up the things that I have in order to move hotels in a couple of days. So anyway, so if the sound and lighting quality isn't perfect in here, I'm really, really sorry about that. In here we only have the finest Marriott lining and the finest finest Marriott wallpaper and a beautiful door. So this is the best I have to shoot with, so sorry. Anyways, without further ado, today I'm going to be doing my Lush haul of all the things I bought while I was shopping in Lush in Salt Lake City. I actually visited two locations. I visited the City Creek location, and then I can't remember the name of the other location, but I think it's a little bit south of Salt Lake City. The reason I ended up doing going to two different Lushes is because of the fact that the City Creek location didn't have the Father's Day bath bombs that I wanted, and I really wanted them, and so I drove 15 minutes south just to buy bath bombs. Yeah, I know how bad that sounds. Shut up. Anyways, so this is a total of two different Lush shopping trips, so I'm going to do this kind of in two ways. First, of course, I'm going to show you guys my Lush Father's Day haul range, and the reason I decided to buy it in the U.S. versus in Japan where I live is because in the U.S. almost all of the products are a little bit cheaper than they are in Japan, except for one, and I'll tell you guys which one that one is in a second. I figured since I was going to be in the country anyway, it just made more sense to me to just buy them while I was here, and I ended up actually bringing an empty suitcase with me to bring back stuff from America, so I have lots of space for it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the Father's Day portion of the Lush haul. Right, so the first product I want to show you guys is the one and only product I decided to buy from Lush Japan, and that is the Dear John shampoo bar that came out this year. Now, the Dear John shampoo bar, as you can tell, of course, it's kind of like for the dads, but anyone who wants to use it can use it. I use it on my hair, and this is how it's been coming out for the past four or five washes. Anyway, the Dear John shampoo bar has three coffee beads on it to decorate it. And it actually is made, you can see little bits and pieces of ground coffee in it. And actually it was funny, I used this to wash my hair after we went hiking and we were swarmed by bugs. And when I was washing my hair, I saw these little black things coming out. And at first I thought they were dead bugs. And then I realized that it was actually coffee grounds. So other main ingredients in the Dear John shampoo bar are coffee, clove infusion, cedar oil, burner oil, coriander, and molasses, aloe, and caffeine powder and the, I think that the reason the caffeine powder is in here is because a lot of times when men get older not all the time but often when men get older their hair starts to thin a little bit and so the caffeine is supposed to stimulate hair growth and as you guys can see I have plenty of hair but I am trying to grow my hair out a little bit more and I want to make it like thicker and fuller and so I figured the caffeine powder would help so far I've really enjoyed this shampoo bar it smells amazing it pretty much smells like the cup of coffee face mask if you guys have ever smelled that I would bet that the set family would be almost the same on the two of them. I'm gonna have to check that. I'll let you guys know on the bottom if they're the same or not. I don't actually have it with me so I can't smell it. Oh, it just smells so good. I kind of want to wash my hair except I got a haircut today so my hair is freshly washed so I don't really want to mess with it. Which by the way if you guys like my haircut let me know. Um, I've always had long layers in my hair but I did it a little bit differently with like some like more defined layers so if you guys like it let me know in the comments. If you don't like it go find something to do with your time. Next product I want to show you guys is the bath bomb that I'm really excited about and this bath bomb is the Crazy Train bath bomb. I actually ended up getting two of them because they were just so cute and I couldn't not get them after I smelled them. When I first smelled this in Tokyo, I thought for immediately that it smelled a lot like the Mod Father bath bomb because that was my favorite from the Father's Day range last year. I think actually I think that's the only product I bought from the Father's Day range last year. I don't know, you guys can check my haul video. I'll put it up in the um, card section. Um, so the main ingredients in the Crazy Train bath bomb are not the same as the Mod Father Bubble Bar. The Mod Father Bubble Bar, I think it's just orange oil, but the Crazy Train Bath Bomb is made with neroli oil, orange flower oil, Sicilian red mangiana, and vetiver oil. So, because it has two orangey scented things in it, it makes perfect sense to me that why I would think it smelled like the Mod Father, but I think that I like it better because it has the neroli oil. And neroli oil is probably one of my favorite oils that Lush uses, and it's so expensive, so when you can get it in a Lush product, I can't not buy it, you know what I mean? 
Okay, so the next Bomb I Stay product is another bath bomb, and that is the Dear John bath bomb. It has a similar ingredients to the Dear John shampoo bar, but it looks like this. It's white and blue, and I don't actually know what it is supposed to look like on the inside, but I'm really excited to give it a try. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's probably just my imagination, but does this not kind of look like a sad face with the two eyes in the frown? I don't know. I think it does. But anyways, let's check out the main ingredients in this one. The Dear John bath bomb is, scent is scented with cedarwood, vetiver, coriander, and clove bud oil. And that's exactly what it smells like. I think the strongest scent in here is supposed to be the cedarwood oil, but let me give it another smell to see what I think is strongest. Yeah, I would agree with that. I'd definitely say that the cedarwood is the front scent in this, but it smells really good. It smells kind of manly, which I kind of like because I really like woody scents, and, you know, Father's Day is supposed to be, like, a manly range. Oh, anyone can use it. Like, I understand why they're using a lot of, like, woodsy-type oils because that's what dads and guys kind of, in my experience, tend to like. Now, if you're a guy who likes non-woodsy scents, that's totally cool, too. I'm just saying, like, that's what the greater public thinks of, at least in my opinion, when I think of Father's Day stuff. Okay, and the last and final product I want to show you guys is in this bag that I'm really, really excited about, and it is the Dear John Solid Shower Gel. I decided to buy the Solid Shower Gel this this time just because I have three of the regular shower gels in my shower, and I don't know, I just feel like if you can buy something without plastic, it's basically the same thing, and it's better than buying the one in the plastic, and so I decided to give this shower go gel a good go. Dear John Shower Gel has the exact same scent ingredients as the bath bomb, and those are cedarwood, vetiver, coriander, and clove bud, and it smells really good. Although, I think I smell the vetiver coming through a little bit more on this one. Let's compare them and see what they smell similar. Cedar, 100%. Okay, this one. The cedar's in here, but I would definitely say there's more vetiver and coriander in the front of this scent. It smells really nice, but... I actually bought this as a Father's Day gift for Mr. from the dog, so shh, don't tell him. It's very quiet because he's in the next room. But I really think that he's going to like it. And he just recently ran out of his like man shampoo bar from Dove, and I really want to get him into using Lush products. So hopefully he will like this. If he doesn't like it, that's okay. I'll use it. And if he does like it, I'm sure he won't mind sharing with me, or maybe he just won't notice. So shh, don't tell him. So that concludes all the items I decided to buy this year from the Father's Day range. There are a few more items. I think there is a Dear John perfume slash clone, and I think there is also a bubble bar that's, I think, yellow and red. And I decided not to buy it because, as you guys know, my water in Japan doesn't really seem to make really good bubbles. It's just not worth the money to me at this point. So it makes me sad, but, you know, it is what it is. So if you guys were here just to see my Father's Day range collection, this is it. But please stick around because I have a whole bunch of other Lush staples that I decided to buy from the Lush USA store because these products are actually cheaper in Lush USA than they are in Lush Japan or in Lush UK. So that's why I decided to buy them here. So without further ado, let's just move away from the Father's Day range. Let's move on to the regular Lush stuff that I decided to buy at the two stores. The first item that I decided to get from the regular range, well actually I think this is a Mother's Day item, but I decided to get it for myself as a little gift just because I wanted to give myself a little gift on vacation. You know what I mean? I'm going to take it out very carefully because I don't want to break it. And this bath bomb is the Tea and Sympathy bath bomb. And it has a full Earl Grey tea bag inside. And I don't want to pull it up by this because I saw in the store someone actually picked it up and broke it like that. So I don't want to break mine. I want to make it like look perfect in the bath or whatever. But main ingredients in this one are... Oh, smells so good. It is bergamot, green tea, absolute neroli oil, and a earl green tea bag. And oh, it just smells so good. I've actually been noticing that the in items that I end up tend to pick up almost all the time either have bergamot oil, grapefruit oil, or neroli oil, or orange oil in them. I guess I just like those scents. I don't know, but this smells absolutely divine. Now, I don't know if this is the same as the Harajuku Tea and Sympathy Bath Bomb scent, even though it has the same name. Maybe this one's just pink and has a tea bag in it for Mother's Day. I have no idea, but I'm a dog mom. I should get a present, you know what I mean, for Mother's Day? Before you do any hate comments, a dog mom is a kind of mom. It's just not a human mom, okay? I deserve a present, too. And my dog cannot go to the store and buy anything. So, okay, so this guy down so I don't break it. Okay, next time I want to show you guys from the regular range. It's not actually from the regular range. Well, I guess it depends what you call it regular. It's a Harajuku exclusive. And I've had my eye on it for a while, but I just felt like it was a little bit too expensive for what it is, but it was a little bit cheaper at the Lush USA store. And this one is the Gold Rush Bath Bomb. I'm going to take it out of the bag for you guys so you guys can see it. It's, it looks like this. It is blue, and it has the AU on it, which is the periodic table 
um, abbreviation for gold and it smells amazing. It's really tiny but totally worth it especially because it was only I think five dollars or something like that. Okay it is scented with grapefruit oil, rosemary oil, geranium, and almond oil and it just smells so good. I don't know why but for some reason I feel like I smell, is it peppermint in here? But there's not peppermint in it. I don't know why my nose thinks that it's peppermint. Actually it does smell a little bit Reminds me of Ladybird Bubble Bar that came out for Mother's Day slash spring two years ago, but I don't know. It smells really nice. I'm really excited to give it a try. It's supposed to be blue and then this is supposed to be like a bath melt kind of, so this will be really fun. Okay. Next thing I decided to dry, try from the regular range is a face mask and I decided to try the Catastrophe Cosmetic. I'll be honest though, I didn't actually pay for this one. This one is actually one of the free ones I got from the vet black pot program. Before I left Japan I just packed five black pots in my suitcase and then used them like the next day at Lush to get a free face mask while I am here. So Catastrophe Cosmetic, I know in, I think it used to have the eggs in it but they took the eggs out for the American formula and so I'm really excited about that. And it looks like this, it has blueberries in it and so it's supposed to be really detoxifying and it's also supposed to help reduce redness because I think it has rose in it or something like that. So let's check the actual ingredients. It is... Calamine powder, iris moss gel, fresh blueberries, almond oil, rose absolute, chamomile blue oil, sweet wild orange oil. So all good stuff. And it's vegan. I should actually check the Lush website. I'm pretty sure that the non-US ones are not vegan. But that could be a lie. I know that right now Lush USA is taking all the eggs out of them, but it doesn't really smell like much of anything to me, except it does kind of smell like clay. But I guess if I smell like really deep today, you can smell the blueberry smell in there. But when you put it on, it looks really funny. I actually kind of look like a Smurf, which was kind of fun. Like I walked in out of the bathroom and Mr. was a little bit surprised when he saw it. All right, let's check out the next product. Next product I, you guys have seen from me, I don't know how many times a lot, and that is the Sleepy Body Lotion. And I decided to buy the Sleepy Body Lotion in the US. Because of the three countries, Sleepy is cheapest at Lush USA slash Lush Canada store. So next thing I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna have two more items in here. Well, two sets of items in here. Anyways, and that is the Rump Body Moisturizer. Rump Body Moisturizer used to be an orange color, but they've since reformulated it. And I actually asked about that in the store. And the reason they said they reformulated it is because the orange color was like staining really fair people's skin, kind of an orangey tint, and they didn't like that. But my theory is that our buddy Donnie found out about it and was offended, so they changed the color. I don't know what to believe. I just made that up. But anyways, I already used this one a little bit. And so now the new formula is just a white color. And it has a kind of like waxy texture. I'll pull off a little bit for you guys to see. Uh, and this body lotion, I don't know, I think it's the same. I don't know, maybe it's a little waxier. I don't know. But I've actually been using it on my chest because it has aloe in it, so it's kind of helped with the sunburn. But the main ingredients in this one are kupaku butter, aloe vera gel, and rose water, and some other things. But those, the rose water and the aloe vera gel is what's really been helping with the sunburn. It helps to soothe the skin. It also has um, avocado butter, jojoba oil, mumuru butter, uh, chamomile, blue oil, rose oil, orange flower absolute, agave syrup, guarana seed powder, tincture of bezoin, and it has a couple of preservatives in it, but, um, it's a really nice product. I guess I do kind of like it a little bit better in the white because I feel like I don't have to worry about it staining any clothing or anything, but as I already said, like, I've been using this kind of on the spots where I've been sunburned this week and it's really helped it heal and also help soothe it a little bit. It doesn't work as well as a pure aloe vera gel, but I didn't want to buy like a bottle of pure aloe vera, pure aloe vera gel and then have to get rid of it or take it back with me because it's not worth the luggage space. But I got two of them because Rump, again, is cheapest in the USA. And the last and final item I want to show you guys, you guys have seen this more than once through me, is my favorite dusting powder of all time from Lush and probably one of my favorite Lush products to be honest and that is silky underwear. And no, it does not turn into underwear and it's not made out of underwear and you don't put it in your underwear. Silky underwear is just a dusting powder that is jasmine scented and it works really well in the summer um, because in the summer I'm like, walking around outside a lot I just get really like sweaty and it kind of helps me freshen up. And ladies, if, I cannot say this enough, this is awesome for in the summer when you have a little chafing situation under there or if you're a runner or if you're a cyclist this is great if you're feeling really uncomfortable because not only does it have the like powder in it to help soak up the moisture but it also has I think it's cocoa butter 
Yep, that's gonna help soothe the skin that's getting chafed, so that's awesome. And then in the evening, after you take a shower and everything, and if you follow up with the Rump Moisturizer, I know it says Cheeky Balm. Originally, it's kind of designed to like tighten your butt, but the ingredients in it are also designed for like skin recovery, and so this is what I like to use a lot if I have blisters even. Like, not if the blisters pops, but like if my skin's irritated from being rubbed for too much, the next day it's totally fine. So with all that being said, that concludes my Lush haul for my time in Salt Lake City. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything else while I'm here, but for some reason, when I smell that lush scent in the mall, it just like calls me in. I just can't help myself. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys like this video, please hit the like and the subscribe button so you get a good notification every single time we post something new and exciting. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!